I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Honra la bandera de Texas. Te prometo lealtad, Texas, un estado bajo Dios, uno e indivisible. Today for lunch, you have a choice of chicken nuggets, cheese quesadilla, or fresh turkey and cheese sub, and your vegetable is vegetarian mashed potatoes. Happy birthday to anybody who has a birthday today. Good question, class. Being present means staying in the moment and focusing on what's happening now, but and not focusing what's on the past or the future. Being present means listening to your teacher. Being present can also mean, like let's say someone was asking, can we go to recess, but you should be focusing on the moment of now. What it means to be present is listening to your, to your teacher's directions. Being present means listen to, to your mom and dad. Being present means not getting distracted on anybody else. Have a great day, Eagles. Where can we find this book? In the Zenda. Awesome. Thanks, class. Have a great day, Eagles. Have a great, Have a great day. Eagles, happy Monday. It's me, Miss Britt, and I'm in one of our two clinics, and I have a really big special announcement. We have a new nurse. I'd love to introduce you to Nurse Kathy. Hello, everyone. Hi, friends. I'm Nurse Kathy. I am so excited to be here with you guys. I am um, a mom of four. I have a dog named Sage, and I absolutely love to hike. Thank you, Nurse Kathy. So this week we're gonna be learning about different parts of the clinic and how Nurse Kathy keeps you healthy and what you can do to stay healthy. Bye guys. In the book, Hair Love by Matthew H. Harry, Zuri has hair that has a mind of its own. All right, here we go. See? Now wasn't that easy? Hey everyone, my name is Matthew A. Cherry and I'm the author of Hair Love. Hair Love tells a story about an African-American father trying to figure out how to do his daughter's hair for the very first time. Zuri, who's our young lead character, she's 
about five years old. She has this really big, beautiful hair, and she knows how to do everything but her hair. You know, she's too small to do it herself because it's so tall, and so she has to enlist the help of her father, Stephen, who is a little overworked, a little tired, like a lot of the parents are out there, but he steps up and he figures out how to do it right. Wait a minute, Daddy said as he reached out into the drawer and pulled out a pick. Ta-da! Daddy, really, I said? I'll be right back, he promised. Now, how's that, he asked, pulling a hat down over my eyes. Daddy, come on, we could do better than that. I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said, we'll figure it out. Missouri has a pet cat named Rocky, and Rocky is great because Rocky has very strong opinions. He uh, tells her what type of hairstyle she should lean into and which other hairstyles that she should try to stay away from. And they all just really come together to help Zuri have a great uh, hair day. It's really about love. It's about what we're willing to do for the people that we love when they ask us to do something and we don't know how to do it. Normally we try to figure it out and we step up and we get it done. Look for Hair Love at your Scholastic Book Fair.